What's up guys? Today we are in Loop Park in Northampton, Massachusetts. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around the shore of the stream flipping rocks and looking everywhere for different creatures. So let's see what we can find. So today we must be lucky. We already started searching and we already found a northern green frog and a crayfish right here. A little crayfish. So I don't know a lot about frogs but what i know that this is fam this is like a cousin of the american bullfrog as you can see it has like the big dots behind the eye just like the american bullfrog and the coloration is the same you know that that green top head the brown going like through his back and everything it's kind of a similar size only the american bullfrog is bigger that's where he got his name from bullfrog so yeah this is a pretty cool animal so so wet feet to make them like to help them swim and everything. It's a really nice animal. So now let's go to the crayfish. So guys, this is a crayfish. As you can see, it's literally like a small lobster. It has like the, the, the shoppers and everything, the big tail to help them swim. Now it is apparently really hard to get, like to free handle a crayfish because they're extremely fast and they can swim at a pretty fast like they can swim really fast now i'm gonna try to grab it i i'm gonna try let, let me see so i got it here i'm afraid that it pinched my finger i got it got it got it here. Ooh, it's trying to pinch me right there. Oh. Ooh, oh my God. Yeah, they pinch. It's a really nasty pinch. So as you can see, they have like this tail. The tail, what it does, it goes under their body to make them swim backwards. And it pushes all of that water under their body, which makes them swim really fast. And they are extremely difficult to catch. So my brother and my cousin here, they actually grabbed another crayfish just like mine over there same size so you guys say this one is a uh, male why uh, you should have a hole i should have the name you should have a hole right here in the middle of the in the belly yes in the abdomen over right the abdomen. all right over here they if say it, it should have, have a tail hole, then it's a male yeah so if it doesn't have a hole it's a male so this one is a male the other one i caught earlier was a female it had the hole and it had like big pinches you can actually notice the difference so now let's just keep searching for different animals they come here you see on a rock that's a spider that's the fishing spider what it does it actually stands on the water when the water's completely still and when it senses a fish or a crayfish swimming under them you'll actually swim under they will dive that's what they call a fishing spider they'll actually dive and catch it underwater and bring it up to show to eat amazing animal what do you call them huh got it right there stay still stay still oh this one has only seven legs probably lost one so remember guys when you're flipping over a rock you wanna you wanna grab it from this side over here the opposite side where you are so that way you can actually put it towards you why if there's an animal under it that can bite you it will not because you're pulling it towards you it's not going to see you so when you're done put the rock exactly the way it was because this is a habitat exact like perfect perfectly made for that animal and you don't want to ruin it right so guys i'm trying to catch here what i think is a tadpole you see it under that little stick right there i believe it's a tadpole i'm trying to catch it to see what it is so what we found here is an it's a tadpole with four legs you can see right there it already has the high jumping legs so yeah this is how the frog actually starts after it hatches it's transforming into a little bit tadpole then it grows the back legs and then the front legs so after this one goes a frog with a little tail something you'll, you'll see that the frogs have like a pointed like part of in the backs so that's the tail that just fell off so yeah this is a tadpole with full legs this is how it looks like this tail to help them swim and everything this is actually the first time i actually catch one 
I've never seen one in my life. I can't tell what kind of frog it is. I'm just sure it's a frog. I mean, it's kind of obvious. Yeah, I'm gonna let it go now. I actually found it on the good one. He doesn't want to leave my hand. Oh, it's very good. So now, let's just keep searching. So my brother here, he just caught uh, what I think it is, a dwarf salamander. Maybe it's a two line salamander because it has like those two lines, but no, I'm positive that it's a dwarf salamander. So I'm gonna try to catch it now. Try to put it in my hand. Oh, right it. It's the water. Okay, hold on. Let me get my yeah. water. Slimy. You can see they have long bodies, small legs. If you, I don't know if the camera can actually catch it, but if you see in their size, you can actually see like the form of the ribs. Oh, it just. I'm gonna try to grab it right there, put it again in my hand. Right there. Don't press it too much. There. Beautiful. Oh yeah. So now we already have a frog, a four leg tadpole. We have crayfish. Now let's see what else we can find. For a while. We had run out of luck. We didn't find any animals. So I just kept flipping rocks to see if we actually found something. So I decided to cross to the other stream. Maybe in the other stream, we had more luck finding animals before we left the park. So we found this under a rock in the riverbank. What do you think it is? Is it a water caterpillar? Is it a water centipede? Well, no, it's not a water centipede or a water caterpillar. I'm gonna tell you what it is. This is actually called a helgromite. And a helgromite, believe it or not, is actually the larva stage of the real insect. So when this actually grows at its maximum length, I'll say it's like twice as big as this one, it will grow into something kind of like a dragonfly looking creature. You know, it has wings or whatever. So it's actually pretty cool, you know, because it first lives in on the water and then just as the dragonfly, goes up to a tree and then the wing starts growing and everything so people say this bites like hard it's not venomous it's not poisonous but it does contain a like a really strong bite what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to put one in my hand to see what happens this is actually the first time i've, do, I've done this so i'm actually pretty scared right now so let's go try to get one of these and go for the bigger one Put this right here. Thank you. I was scared of bites. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm actually pretty scared right now if it bites me. I don't know how I'm gonna react. This is actually pretty cool. It feels kind of nice for me. So, yeah, this is a hugger, my people. It's not a water centipede. It does bite, so if you bother it, it will probably bite you. But if you just see them, if you just like you just want to grab them, you can try it maybe. But I'm just saying, have have precaution, cause it actually bites. So yeah, that's a hugger mite for you guys. It's not a water centipede. I put it back with the others. Right there. Here's the ball. <laughs> Thank you. So there it goes. That's how you might. So, down here, you see that on the leaf? That is a spider. That's a daddy long leg spider. I mean, that's what people call it. It's, it has incredibly long, long legs. No wonder's called the daddy long legs. I'm, I'm trying to catch it. See if it doesn't fall off the leaf or something. Wow, it has extremely long legs. Probably the longest legs of a spider. Right there. It's actually pretty cool. Now, daddy long leg spiders are not dangerous. They don't have venom. They're not poisonous. They do bite, obviously. Every spider bites. If you bother them and you squish them, you 
put too much pressure on them, they will bite. But they are not potentially dangerous. Yo, that's a daddy long ago for you guys. We're back where it was, right there. So this is the end of the video, guys. If you think I left something out by an animal and you wanna know, comment down below and ask me. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That will help a lot. And if you wanna keep seeing my videos talking about different animals like this guy over here, subscribe to my channel. It will help a lot. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Peace out.